Alright then guys, let's continue. Oh, I dropped this off. Okay, episode 2 starts out. The only thing I could do in the episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun oh. away from me, psycho! No! Okay, they called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. What is she doing? Where is it? Press a button to start off the episode, I guess. Shit, should be fun. Squirting. Oh, my plants are alive. This is where I guess. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Whoa. Hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Having Chloe back in my life again. Like yeah, we'll no time. Every has episode passed. playing off at the top. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Let me fuck myself. I'll slip that bitch down my crack. What's wrong with me? I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, of course you need your. 
hand was fine. I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mom. It'll be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. I want to give this plan a lot to the whole series. Damn it. Let me guess it'll have consequences. If, why would that have consequences? Now let's water it again. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Why would that have fucking... No, that would not have consequences. Come on. Be good to Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. I'm not worrying all that fucking earth. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but I would say this is some crazy shit, but, and I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Okay then. Turn that back on. I love that song. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. The fuck am I? Why am I shell supplies? Here we go. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Fuck, I love that song. I don't even want to leave it so quickly. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. Yeah. Fine, I won't disturb you. I'm a cunny bitch. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't fucking disturb you. Jesus. Fine, I won't disturb you. Oh no, I'm gonna set up a million times now, I? Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. You know. Here we go, I said. This is shouting. Let me see this. How you doing, Bob? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. It's really terrible. Now, if there's any nudity, I'm gonna have to censor that. This is gonna be awkward. For me to sit here and watch. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. 
And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fucking bitches. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. I forgot. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. That gonna have consequences. Yes, fuck. We didn't say consequences. I think it's again. Did I? Oh, okay. This goes back to another one. No, we used to. Have like a tampon right there, you know. Oh, she accidentally pressed the face button. Right, dash on and disguise, dude. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. The fuck? It does not need dusting. Look into my soul. What's my room? Um, what's Kate's room? I want to rub. So where's that shit? Is that it now? Fucking. Um, fucking also awesome here. Can I change it? Can I change this? No, I cannot. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Who did this, Victoria? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. No book here. I guess I want a book over here. Get your all okay. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. What did I do? Now I do what I'm doing. My I desk is know. a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Fucking and again. nothing here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nothing here. Yeah, over here. Oh, of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Oh my god. Why? Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Fucking hater, man. 
I'll class. miss going to the games with my dad. Okay. Go Thunderbirds. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. I really nailed the voice acting on this. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. So, why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate? We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Is that a wriggle? So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max.
shit. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. I'm just trying to help Kate. You guys have seen what happens to Kate later in the story. You know what I'm talking about, why I'm trying to help her. Fuck someone else. Girl, you bitch. That's good too, I will see you next. Shit, I'm gonna... Is it the tall way out of me? What is this place? Never mind, she looks like a fucking idiot. Right. Oh, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. What have we got now? And there's two whales. Fucking whale. Oh, you're not doing uh, nothing. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love God. you in the morning. <laughs> God, this guy's weird. Everything is so calm. I like his name would be Alvin. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Oh. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Boyd. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Yes, that is like a crazy animal. Boy. Oh, polite. Sorry. Max, it's over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. 
You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Oh, God. Okay, I'm back. Let's get on with the game. The boss. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Crap. the music in this game. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk team. about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. 
thanks. I sure need it. Buffalo will never come, to be honest. Oh, find money made. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me feel 13 again. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel... Bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean... Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. About that. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. Mm -hmm. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon off. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Damn, dude. Wow, they really detailed this shit. Look for the young lady, staff. Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. I'm doing some coffee here. Wait, wait, wait. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Order ready. Mm. 
No beer. Whoa, what kind of guy is this? Warren must have been here. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Wow, bitch. You bacon. guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Grandma. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need detail! You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so... Okay, psychic girl. Let me... That was beyond epic. Wait, how do I stop? So, this is. Okay, Max. Your car. Duh! What? A bullet. Just like your necklace. That was so. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I need to look at it. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Seven smokes. Seven. Two. Four, six, eight, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, this is me telling you... Okay, Max. I'm hell... I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. 
How much do I have? Oh fuck, I don't... I don't know. I, I don't know American money. Oh, fuck. 82 cents. 82 cents. I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what- Fuck. I don't know American money. I'm Australian for crying out loud. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Ah. Oh. Eighty-six. So this is okay, Mac. Please. Your card. Duh. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoke. Um, Seven cigarettes. A superpower that. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Clearly I'm. 86. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Shit, I didn't count a parking a ticket. ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, for fuck's sake. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Oh, fuck yes. Thank God. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Trevor drops his glass and Justin makes fun of him. So what happens next? I think those are my The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Shit, I fucked up. Oops. That is Did so Did you wrong. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I dick. think Don't not, slap Max. me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. I'm going to predict... The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Mm. 
The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Shit. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce... Yes, you still need to... I didn't get to tell her on the number. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. What? This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Fuck. I'm going to predict. The trucker drops. So. The cop gets an emergency alert on Well, let's- Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Please. They're messing this up, I feel. Oops! Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. What? Whiffing it? Oh, was it awkward? This is a sad this day in Mexico. This is yeah. sure the hell better than that up. I'm going to pretend. The tr So. The well, Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see. Yeah, dude, I did it. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave.
Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Well, screw you, Chloe. I'm gonna answer. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. I'm Just sorry. do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Mm, let's rock. I guess. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I wasn't watching was that. Something happened. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Oh god, fucking what it is. What the fuck we doing? Thanks, Max. One more for the road. You're serious oh about God. this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Oh, Show me the way, Max. Dead, I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? God damn aim it. just a tad lower. Ready to plank. Damn, that was just hitting one. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim a bit to your left. Chloe Bond has got this. Oh my god. Now, Max, where do I aim? Up. 
Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. And land. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! Yet the bottle remains. Yeah, what? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. <laughs> boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Dude, I need a target before I sh Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. Jesus, I oh, shot sorry, myself! I, you. Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. Fuck. It's time to How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Yes. Uber cool. <laughs> I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Alrighty guys, let me know that leaves. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, uh, it looked kind of dribbled everywhere. Um, alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna leave today's episode here. Um, hope you all enjoyed, uh, tune into the next episode of Life is Strange. Continuing on, um, episode 2. Alright, now y'all. Hope you all enjoy. Peace out.